Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I made a custom battery monitoring system with over discharge protection and battery level meter. Before starting the project, first let me thank jlcpcv.com for sponsoring this video. This is the circuit diagram which I will be using for this project. For the detailed explanation, please visit the link given in the description. Next, I verified my design on a breadboard and then designed the PCB layout. This is the sketch or program that I'll be using uh, for this project. You can visit the link given in the description for the detailed explanation. Once I designed my PCB layout, I created the Gerber files and then logged into jlcpcb.com website to order the PCB. If you want to order a PCB through jlcpcb.com, download the Gerber files shared in the description and under the account, click on Instant Order. Now click on Add Gerber files and then select the zip folder containing all the Gerber and the drill file. Next select the options as per your requirements, I'll go with default options. Once everything is selected, provide your shipping details and make the payment to place your order. The PCB board was delivered to me within uh, 5 days after placing the order. Board quality provided by jlcpcb.com is very good. As you can see the markings are very clear and accurate. Next I mounted all the components and secured them with solder. Only for microcontroller and bar graph, I'm using socket to mount them. For the enclosure, I'm using a transparent uh, plastic box. Next, I made one hole for uh, DC jack and four holes for banana connectors. Next, I mounted the banana connectors, which will be used to connect the battery and the output source. Next I mounted the DC jack which will be used to supply 5 volts for internal working of the board. Next I connected one of the red banana connectors to the B plus pin on the board. This will later be connected to the positive of the battery which has to be monitored. Next I connected one of the black banana connectors to the ground pin on the board. This will later be connected to the negative of the battery which has to be monitored. Next I connected the remaining red banana connector to the B out pin on the board and the remaining black connector to the ground pin on the board. This will later be used to connect any output source like fan or bulb. Next I connected the positive of the DC jack to the 5V pin on the board and negative of the DC jack to the ground pin on the board. Next I secured the board to the enclosure using nut and screw. Next step is calibration. So I connected the 5V uh, 1 amp DC adapter to the DC jack. Next I connected the variable power supply to the banana connectors which goes to the pin B plus and ground. Before connecting make sure that your variable bench power supply is set to 12V since we are monitoring 12V battery. Now adjust the trimmer on the board to a point where all the LEDs of the bar graph is on. Now the calibration is complete and you can use it to monitor any 12 volt battery. Next I connected a voltmeter as my output source just to show how it will work. You can connect any output source like fan or bulb.
Now if you observe, the LEDs of the bar graph get switched off one by one as I reduce the voltage. Now if you see at this point, the bar graph starts blinking, indicating low voltage. Now at this point the relay got switched on which in turn turns off the output which in turn protects the battery from over discharging. Now let me replace the bench power supply with lead acid battery to show the actual setup. Thank you for watching guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe with notification.